Hey yogis, welcome to Om Yoga. I am Mary Omira. Today's class is a 30 minute power vinyasa flow where we are going to focus on grounding and standing and feeling strong in our power. We're gonna be working with the essential oil frankincense. If you don't have it, go ahead and click the link in the comments below to grab your own. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel, share the love, spread the love, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you wanna see what's happening on the Om front outside of YouTube, you can catch me on Instagram at Mary Om for Love. You can also go to my website Website at www.essentiallyom.com and subscribe to my newsletter. Let's begin. All right, yogis, we're going to begin with the application of our oil. You can always diffuse it. Frankincense, I prefer to have my diffuser with some other yummy things, um, but for my practice, especially in a studio or in a space where I can't diffuse, I like to take it, put it on the back of my neck, and also take some and apply it directly over my third eye center. Rub my hands together, big deep inhale. We're gonna begin seated today. So whatever comfortable position you want to find, whether it's Sukhasana, easy pose, right? AKA crisscross applesauce, <laughs> or finding half lotus if you're open for that. If not, just be comfortable and allow the body to open. We're gonna start with the eyes closed. It doesn't matter if you're closer to the top of your mat or towards the middle. If you need some release for your hips, you can grab a block and take a seat on that. But let's begin with the palms facing down since we're working on grounding in this class today. Palms down, tailbone rooted down, chin slightly tucked towards the chest, navel pulling in as your pelvic floor already begins to lift beginning with the bandhas early in class. Let's take a few moments to settle into this space in peace before we begin to move into our moving meditation. Wherever you are, let go of all of your breath out through the mouth. Inhale in through the nose. Audible exhale, sigh it out. Inhale again through the nose, into the belly. Audible exhale, let it go. Last time, inhale in. Audible, let it go. Seal your lips. Bring the breath in and out through the nose. And I want us to think about our intention here. What do we need to root down and connect to? Working with frankincense, it is extremely grounding. For me, I use it to get my head out of the clouds. But at the same time, this oil is extremely powerful for our spiritual practice. So it will ground us down at the same time, opening our intuition and connecting us to our higher self. And take two more rounds of breath where you are. Gently begin to lean the shoulders over the hips. Sometimes we tend to lean forward. Last cycle of breath. Inhale. Exhale. Hopefully feeling a bit more connected and aware. Begin to open your eyes. Blink them open nice and slow. We're going to find our way to the top of our mat standing. Once there, take your feet about hip distance apart. Let's start with our ragdoll for a moment. So bend into your knees, allow your torso to rest on your thighs. Let your head hang, letting the crown of your head ear towards the floor. And the weight forward into the balls of your feet. And take a deep bend to the knees. 
our hamstrings are connected to our pelvis. So the more we lift our pelvis, the more kind of pressure it puts on the hamstrings. We do not want to be opening them right now. This is specifically for releasing the low back. Take a bend into the knees. Your back will thank you. Let the head hang. Breath be soft. Slowly toe heel the feet together. Big toes touch. Sliver between the heels. Keep the head nice and heavy. And as we inhale, draw the navel in towards the spine using your core to lift you up. As you exhale, roll your shoulders back and down. Pull the navel in. Inhale, palms sweep up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. We already worked with our intention. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Half sun salutations. Inhale, arms sweep forward, rising up. Bringing strength into the body. As we exhale, we fold. Bend into the knees as needed. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to shins if you need to. Lengthening the cervical spine, so slightly tuck the chin towards the chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, we rise. Arms sweep back up to the sky, nice and strong. And exhale, we fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise nice and strong. Reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And as you exhale, take your first chaturanga. Stepping back. Lower halfway down. You can also drop to your knees here. Inhale into your upward facing dog. Let your heart shine forward. Take it a little easy though if you need to for the first round. And then as we exhale, press back downward facing dog. Take a moment to pedal out your legs. We only have 30 minutes today, so we will be flowing very shortly. Gently come back to stillness. As you inhale, bring your gaze forward. And as you exhale, step your way to the top. Big toes touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Pull the navel in. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, sit low. Utkatasana, chair pose. Arms sweep up to the sky. Think about pulling the navel in here. Tailbone points down. Lift your toes and feel the strength in your quads. Lift your heart. Feel your roots here, okay? So as we get rooted and grounded in this class, feel the strength in your feet, yet feel the lift in your body, okay? So we don't want to be so grounded we don't want to move. <laughs> we want to be grounded to feel stable and sturdy. Sit just a little bit deeper in your chair. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, Ekapada Tadasana, lifting your left leg. Flex your left toes, left knee is bent. Now as you exhale, bring your hands to your heart center for this first round, coming into your warrior three. Take a slight bend into your right knee if you need to, and then play around with how it feels. Flex your foot on the left, and then point. Flex and point. Feel your roots in your left foot grow nice and strong. Flex your foot, take an inhale. And as you exhale, gently bend into your front knee and land into your crescent pose. Arms sweep up to the sky, nice and strong. Stay here for a moment. Deep bend into your front knee, keeping your knee in line with your ankle. You don't want to go beyond it. It can be behind it. Deep breath in. And as we exhale, strong and sturdy into your warrior two. Case over your front fingertips. Think about your bundas here, okay? So lifting the root, the root, right? Because we're getting rooted. <laughs> lifting your root, 
your pelvis, pelvic floor is lifted and strong, navel pulling in, this is drawing the energy up and out through the body, okay? So here we are thinking of these roots that have grown down through our legs just as well with our energy, and we are now lifting it up and out through the crown of the head. Just like frankincense, it grounds the body yet lifts us to our higher self. Gaze over the front fingertips, bending into the knee, and frankincense is from a tree. I mean, you just can't make that up. <laughs> Take a big deep breath in. Exhale out. Inhale, we're gonna reverse our warrior now. Reaching the right hand back. Big deep breath in. And as we exhale, we release into our chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And as we exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or maybe add a hop to the top of your mat. Big toes touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sit, Utkatasana. Find your chair. And exhale, we pause. Just for this next round, and then we begin to flow. Don't worry, if you're worried about it, and you've taken my class before, you know you have nothing to fear. <laughs> the flow is here. Bend into the knees, tailbone down. Inhale. Exhale, sit deeper. Inhale now. Lift the right leg high. Flex your right toes. Nice deep bend into your right knee. Find your breath and your stability. And as you exhale, coming into your warrior three. Hands to your heart center for this round as well. Okay. Now play around. Bend into the left knee a little bit. Flex your foot. Now point your foot on your right leg. Flex. Point. Flex, point, drop the right hip down a little more. Flex, point, flex, take an inhale. As you exhale, slowly bend into your left knee and land into your crescent pose. Anjani Asana, arms sweep up to the sky. And again, check in with your left knee. Make sure that it's not beyond your ankle. Breath is soft. Deep breath in, soft breath out. One more inhale. Then as we exhale, we open into our warrior two. Gazing over the front fingertips, finding our nice sturdy strength in our warrior. They don't call this warrior for, you know, just because. It's a strong posture. This asana builds strength in the legs, which I'm sure you're feeling right now. Again, check in with your bandhas, lift your pelvic floor, pull the navel in, reaching, lifting through the crown of the head, grounding down as we rise up. Now as you inhale, reverse your warrior. Left hand up and back, breath is soft. One more inhale. And as we exhale, we release chaturanga. Inhale, up top. Exhale, down dog. Putting this together now. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sit, Utkatasana, arms up. Exhale, pause. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, palms touch, interlace the fingers, pointer finger forward. Find your warrior three. Keep your biceps in line with your ears. Flex or point your foot, it doesn't matter. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, step back with grace. Crescent pose. Hands still touching, take an inhale. Exhale, open warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, release, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, look to the top. Exhale, step or hop to the top. Big toes touch, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, chair, arms up. Exhale, sit deeper. Inhale, right leg lifts. Palms touch, pointer fingers release, point up. And as we exhale, warrior three. And again, flex or point your foot, doesn't matter. Inhale, biceps in line with yours if possible. And as you exhale, crescent pose. Palms still touching, point your finger up. Inhale, open into your warrior two. Pause with the exhale, feel your strength. Inhale, reverse it. Exhale, release it. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, look to the top. Exhale, step or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sit. Chair pose, arms up. Exhale, sit deep. Inhale, left leg reaches, palms touch, pointer fingers up. Exhale, warrior two, warrior three rather. Find your inhale, biceps in line with ears. Exhale, crescent, palms still touching. Open warrior two on your exhale. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, release. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Last side through. Inhale, lift forward. Exhale, step or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sit, chair pose, arms up. Exhale, sit deeper. Inhale, right leg lifts, palms touch. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, softly land, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, release, vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, look forward. And as you exhale, go ahead and bend down to your knees, release into a tabletop pose. So because we're working on grounding and finding balance, we're gonna do just that with some of our core work, okay? So take your knees underneath your hips, wrists underneath your shoulders, and then as you inhale, lift your right leg up and back. Try to keep your hip and your ankle in line. Okay. Instead of sinking into the shoulders, press the mat away. Inhale now, left arm reaches forward. You can stay here or exhale round, elbow to knee. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open, stay here or bend into your right knee. Grab for the top of your foot and open into your lion's pose. Gazing forward. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, you begin to look over your right shoulder. Ooh, feel that balance challenge. You now as you inhale, slowly extend and open. Exhale, lower down. Okay, back into your tabletop pose. Inhale, left leg reaches back. Again, try to keep the hip and the heel in line. It's okay if it goes up a little bit. Okay. Now as you inhale, extend your right arm forward. Don't sink into that left shoulder. Press up and out. Pull the navel in. Feel your roots connect. Inhale. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Stay here, or as you exhale, reach around for the top of your left foot, coming into your lion's pose. Kicking into your hand, opening the chest. Now maybe, 
looking over your left shoulder. Inhale back to center, slowly unwind. And as you exhale, back into your tabletop pose. We're going to come into a side plank. So the right arm is going to be your foundation. You're going to take the right knee behind you and come into your modified side plank to begin. Okay, so your knee and your ankle are in line on your right leg. You can extend the right arm, left arm up rather. Right arm is extended already to the ground. <laughs> Don't try to lift that because that's just not going to be good. That will ground you hard. <laughs> All right, you have the option to stay here to modify or you're going to extend out the right leg coming into your full Vashisthasana. Can you keep your hips in line? Deep, big breath in. One more inhale. And as you exhale, we're just going to switch over to the other side. Now, the left leg comes down, left knee and left ankle are in line. Left hand is the foundation. Right hand now reaches up. And again, maybe you stay here. What's going to make you feel most grounded, rooted, and connected to your body and your practice? Yeah, otherwise, you're going to come into your full expression, full Vashisthasana. Think about your buttons here. Find the breath. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath in. And as we exhale, plank. Press the mat away. Press your heels towards the back of your mat. Press the shoulders away. Big deep breath in. And as we exhale, press back. Downward facing dog. Connecting in with breath, press the palms into the ground, lift the hips high. You can also keep a bend in your knees here if you need to. We're going to inhale, lift the right leg high. And as we exhale, draw your knee to your nose. Inhale up and back. Exhale, low lunge. From here, take an inhale, lift your heart, lift your chest, and as we exhale, standing splits. Again, root down through the right foot. Try to lift the right hip up. Take a big deep breath in, come into a halfway lift, and as you exhale, jiva squat. Take your left knee outside of your right calf. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, open. Exhale, Jiva Squat. One more. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, Jiva Squat. Option, keep your hands on the ground. Another option, bring your hands to your heart center for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg straight up to the sky. Exhale, round knee to nose. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, low lunge. Pause here. Inhale, into a halfway lift, lengthening the crown of the head forward. And as we exhale, standing splits. Right toes point down. You try to lift the left hip up. Don't sink too, too far down into the left hip. Big deep breath in. And then as you exhale, Jiva Squat. Right knee now to the outside of the left leg. Inhale, open. Exhale, in. Inhale, open. Exhale, in. Inhale, open. Exhale, in. Stay here or balance challenge. Hands to heart. We hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And as we exhale, we step it back, finding our vinyasa. We'll meet in down dog. You 
You're going to inhale, bring your gaze forward, and as you exhale, step forward, have a seat. You're going to find your way onto your back. You're welcome. <laughs> Go ahead and lay down, draw the knees into your chest. And speaking of grounded, feel yourself completely connected to your mat, completely connected to breath. So even if you find yourself away from this breath, come back. And we're gonna work the hips a little bit. You're gonna inhale, lift your legs up, flex your feet. You're gonna cross your right leg over your left. And you're gonna take your right foot into your left hand and your left foot into your right hand. Flex the feet. You can stay here, try to press the knees together, lift them up towards the sky, getting into the outer edges of the hips, or draw your knees towards your chest. You want to get this nice stretch on the outer edges of the hips. Stay with breath. Think about pressing the tailbone down to the floor. And then you're going to inhale, release the legs back up and switch the crossing left over right, bend into your knees and take a hold of your feet once again. This may feel different, just depending on how open we are on each side of our body. Feel rooted, completely supported. I mean, you can't really be much more supported and grounded <laughs> rather than laying on the floor, right? Inhale. Extend your legs up towards the sky, and as you exhale, quick happy baby, outer edges of the feet, or you can grab onto your ankles, work the tailbone towards the floor, draw the knees towards the chest, rather to the outer edges of the chest, more towards the armpits. And then draw your knees into your chest, and take a really quick twist. Arms out by your sides, palms face up, get a nice external rotation for the shoulders. Drop the feet down, scoot the hips over to the right, drop the knees to the left, gaze falls to the right arm. Try to keep your right shoulder connected. Inhale, draw your knees back to center, give yourself a quick squeeze, and switch it out. Feet drop down, walk the hips to the left, drop the knees to the right, and gaze over to the left hand or arm. Try to keep the left shoulder down. As you inhale, bring yourself back to center, squeeze the knees into the chest, and as you exhale, final Shavasana. Let your feet fall out, palms face up, eyes closed. Slowly begin to wiggle fingers and toes. Roll your wrists, roll your ankles. Turn your head from side to side, and as you inhale, take a nice full body stretch. 
And as you exhale, draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. And find your way to your favorite side today. Pause for a moment to feel the connection, mind, body, and soul, but also this rooted, grounded, connected feeling, yet still feeling connected to our higher self. And hopefully that brought some peace to your body. When you're ready, press yourself up to a seated position and bring yourself to the top of your mat. Once there, bring your hands to your heart center. Close your eyes. Bring your gaze down to your fingertips. And that's from the bottom of my heart to yours that I thank you for allowing me to be your guide today. Hands to our lips. May our words always be kind and true to others, but most importantly, always kind and true to ourselves. Hands to the center of our eyebrows, the center of our intuition and divine light, the highest in the honors and recognizes the highest in you and together in this place, in this space, we are one. I humbly bow forward in honor of you. Namaste. Hey yogis, for those of you who made it to the end of this video, I would love to hear what it is that really grounds and connects you through your daily life. I want to share a little bit about frankincense. I really like to educate you guys on the oils, why I use them, why you'd want to use them. Frankincense is a very, very powerfully grounding oil. Um, it is also a very spiritual oil. It's the oil that was brought to baby Jesus, um, but it doesn't matter our religious or spiritual faith or connection. Frankincense is just extremely um, beneficial for connecting mind, body, and spirit. So sometimes after I teach classes, I get left feeling like I'm up in the clouds, even if I'm running around doing errands. Um, sometimes I just get disconnected. So I really love to use this oil just as I began in the beginning of class, putting some on my hands, behind my neck, third eye, taking big deep breaths in. Um, frankincense is tapped from the resin of a tree and is something that, you know, when I, when I thought about it in the beginning of class, I realized, oh wow, it comes from a tree. Trees are very, when we think of them, symbolic of being rooted and connected and grounded, right? Their roots grow very deep. And so it, it kind of sent this aha moment to me of, oh, <laughs> that's why frankincense is grounding. So are the other conifer oils, which are tree oils. So if you guys have any questions about the oils, I'm always here to help you and answer anything that you may want to know to the best of my ability. And as always, from my heart and home to yours, I appreciate you and I can't wait to see you in the next class. Namaste.